Hi, I'm KB with The Beat. How are you guys? Hi, KB. You look great in front of that. Neon. <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. So I absolutely adored this film. Uh, and of course, neither one of you are strangers to high octane, high action, and truly dynamic projects. So what was it about this particular script that really kind of drew you in and made it unlike any other project you've been a part of before? And I'll start with you, Angela. I mean, just that title uh, drew me in initially. You know, what the heck is that about? What does that mean? Gunpowder milkshake things that just seem so so diametrically opposed, you know? And um, then the opportunity to work with this, this, this young auteur that's, you know, brand new to me, you know, filmmaker, writer, director. He's definitely, you know, gonna have a, a vision and he was so enthusiastic about sharing it with me and wanting me to be a part. So that was, uh, that was intriguing. And it just and how getting better and better and better, especially when you told me about the cast that he was assembling. Absolutely. And how about for you, Carla? Yeah, it's it's true. I mean, a, a good title, right? Good title pulls you right in. Um, but also, we when I when I jumped on the phone with Navot, it was or I guess it was Zoom. Um, the uh, what was interesting is you know both uh, Quentin Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez are also big influences for him. Um, both filmmakers that I've you know, known for a long time and obviously worked with Robert quite a bit. Um, and it was such a um, cool thing to kind of so, so go, oh, okay, this is an aesthetic that inspired you to make movies in a country where they don't make movies of that genre. And then he made this movie, Big Bad Wolves, that then came over here and went and saw. And, you know, and it was that kind of thing of like, um, just just getting the fact that he got to meet his heroes and sort of so, so the aesthetic I was intrigued by um, and then the script I thought was just flat out fun and good and had something really interesting to say in the midst of it. Um, and then, yes, this I, I just couldn't have imagined a better cast to, to share this journey with. Well, you guys are correct. I mean, not only YouTube, but the cast is absolutely stacked. And it is such a physical film, but also they have a lot of emotional layers as well. Um, just so for each of you, kind of what was your favorite scene to shoot in this project? And I'll start with you, Carla. Um, you know, I, I, it's hard to pick favorites, but I will say um, one moment that I, I, I really enjoyed playing, I think maybe because it was, uh, it had to encapsulate um, this character. We, we all had sort of, because it's, you know, so much action, you're, you have to be very specific about when you're creating something so people can understand your character and that can come across and pay off in the end. And I think it was when Karen's character enters the library and she, you know, smashes her bag down. And you can tell that Madeline will not let her interrupt her sentence. She's going to finish reading. <laughs> and uh, and that just seemed to me always like the librarians that I knew. It's like the book was above all. And uh, and uh, and there's this sort of like moment of, of silence that I love when they're looking at each other and she's trying to figure out, you know, you look very familiar to me. So that was a really fun scene to shoot. And for you, Angela? Yeah, I think for me, the return of the rebels, the return of, of uh, you know, of Scarlet to the library after it in this protracted long absence and disappearance um, that, uh, that anime just can't abide or understand no matter what. So in, even with Child in Tow or whatever, there was just a way of doing things, you know, a code and it had been broken. So, um, you know, getting that straight getting to the bottom of that. Well, absolutely, because anime was not having it <laughs> at all when Scarlet came back. Uh, <laughs> but thank you both. I absolutely adore this film. Can't wait for everyone to see it. And thank you so much for chatting with The Beat. Thank, thank you so much.